Hey guys, so it's Biscuit. How is everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's having a good day. So today's video is going to be out of the norm. Um, I decided to have school from home today um, because I do have a client at seven o'clock and it is currently, oh, I don't even have my watch on. It's probably currently six o'clock. So I figured that I would go ahead and practice at home before my clients. So if you haven't seen this set, this was my previous set that I practiced on while I was in school. So we are going to take this off and we are going to do us a ombre set today. Um, of course, I have all of my nail stuff with me, so I know this is going to be a different type of video because you're not used to me like actually talking while I'm doing the work. Here at the house, it's just everywhere. So, what I normally do is I always keep my old set on until I'm ready to take it off. And I normally put what I did inside my bag because I hold on to every set that I've done just to kind of reflect and see how far I have come. Um, so, I also ordered these off of Amazon and they came today. So, um, kind of want to try these out they're not a uh, Swarovski crystals or anything but they're colorful rhinestones so not rhinestones they are AB crystals but I don't know I just don't feel like they do the same justice you know I don't know maybe they do hold on let me grab my my other ones out the drawer oh excuse me for being on with you guys yeah, I don't know let me know down below what y'all think. These look more like AB crystals more than these. But again, like I said, um, you know, you can't really see all of it. But they sparkle, though. So I got two packs of these. One to take to class and one to keep here um, just so that I can create some new stuff. You know, so maybe I'll use these today depending on what I'm going to do. Um, I'm actually... They actually do look like AB crystals because this is an AB crystal right here. So, I don't know. Maybe. So, yeah. So, we are going to do what we normally would do while we're in school except for I'm home. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's set this up. And you guys will actually get a good, a better view on what I'm actually doing because... I will have it here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get us, um, you won't be able to see me actually looking through the stuff, but we're gonna get some tips out of here. And I think we're gonna work with the small ones today. I normally would use while I'm at school because I'm not going to use my stuff that I use for my clients. So we're definitely going to take that out. Do. 
so my sister ended up calling me so i ended up talking to her during this video because i was trying to do it live so to say like in real time but however voiceovers are always better so um shout out to the fact that this video is in real time right um i mean going a little bit further into the video i do speed it up for the sake of me laying the acrylic because of course doing an ombre nail takes a little bit of time because i haven't perfected that yet but looks like i did but so now right now i am just taking off uh, i'm removing the shine off the nail bed which is um, what you want to do um for your clients and also you want to take the shine off of the nail tip so that's normally what i do so i am getting rid of the shine on the um nail plate and not only that for these plastic nails you need to have some type of uh, rough surface so that way you can glue the nail tips down so this still is a must um you will never see me using nail dehydrator or nail primer on the plastic hand or i'm sorry diamond as i call her because that would be a waste of product so i never 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 do that step on my um mannequin hand the reason for that is because i'm wasting product you only want to do that on your uh, natural client just to make sure that their nail is dehydrated and also that you prep the nail before laying the acrylic so um in this step right here i'm actually cutting down the nail tips um due to the fact that um i'm making it a stiletto so the reason for cutting it down like this is because it will save you tons of pain and tons of shaving um, when you are shaping the nail to become a stiletto nail so again with filing you want to make sure that you um work on both sides don't just focus on one side because then you can over file one side more than the other so um i kind of say whatever you do on one side for a little bit do on the other side for a little bit so kind of remember to swap sides and plus you should be looking at your nail and your shape as you go to kind of know which side needs to be evened out with the other side so it's all about eyeballing it there is no certain let's do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten sh you know up and down motions with the nail file on the nail there is none of that so you just kind of want to eyeball it and make sure that you are not over fouling on one side more than the other so i would say give it a little bit file on one side just until you get that shape and kind of look at your other side just to make sure that they match and then go back on the other side and then go ahead and start filing that side and then you have to look at your nail and don't forget to turn it to the left turn it to the right so that way you know exactly what you're doing and where your shape is currently at because um, it could be deceiving just a little bit so you have to kind of eyeball it look at it and make sure that you are doing the right amount of filing on each side just so that way you can have it even also based on how your client wants their stiletto tip you can either have it sharp you can have it rounded those are the only two options that i ever offer sharp i don't really too much care for i'm not in that particular way i'm just saying because to me that's a safety hazard like what if you're rubbing your eye i mean what it i mean it's good for like getting a good back scratch or scratching your arm or something that itches but what about if you have children you can poke them in the eye what about if you are helping somebody do something and you accidentally scratch them you know to me that proposes a safety hazard and um nine times out of ten most of my clients don't want sharp uh stiletto nails so i round it out just a little bit as you see i have done here and they still look like um stilettos 
they're not pointed but they are rounded so it's just per preference is but by all means it's definitely what the client wants so if the client wants sharp i give them sharp so i'm never saying that i don't want to do them for a client no nothing but nine times out of ten my clients understand the whole purpose behind making it rounded because you know they can scratch their kids or they can scratch their cells or rubbing their eye you know you just never know some people are a little bit clumsier than others so um so now i'm going ahead and blending the uh, nail tip in with the nail plate and then i'm also removing the shine off of the nail So to do my ombre, I am going to be using Knot Polish uh, Electricity, and I am also going to be using Knot Polish Ever After. So I wanted to do a pink to orange or orange to pink ombre. Um, so I did go ahead and pull those out. So this part I did kind of skip over um, that I am applying the orange at the bottom and then I'm putting the pink at the top. So I was gonna speed this up, but I thought that I would leave this in real time so that way you guys can see how long it actually takes me to do an ombre nail. And also, um, please factor in that the nails are long. They're not extra long, but I did not clip the nails at all. I just um, trimmed them in the stiletto, in the stiletto shape. So I did not cut them down to make them short, medium. They are actually long as the nail tip. And so right here, I'm actually holding the nail down to let gravity actually do the work for me. So you'll see once I pull the nail tip up that the acrylic has actually formed on the actual shape of the nail. So then I go in and just make sure that it's all good.
So now I'm going to just encapsulate with clear and I'm going to do that on all of the nails. So of course I filed uh, and shaped off camera and then I went ahead and took the alcohol wipe and cleansed the nails. You can also use this with nail cleanser and now I'm applying my UV top coat and then you're going to put in the lamp and then we're all done. I thought about adding some rhinestones but I'm like this is just too pretty by itself. So I mean you have options there. You can do like some stamping on it but I just opted to leave it the way it is because I'm like this is just so freaking pretty. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Drop a, let's see, drop a orange heart uh, emoji if you guys like this set, if you have made it this far through the video. Um, but yeah, see, you have a nice apex. Um, you have um, nice shaping. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing this set. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at IamBiscuit7. Make sure you subscribe if you are not a subscriber already. Hit that notification bell so that way you never miss a video. Comment down below and let me know what other videos you want to see coming from me. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.